Good evening and welcome DAA Middle School families. My name is Dr. Justin Reynolds and I am the principal at DAA Middle School. I'm Maggie Moffat-Baxter and I am the assistant principal. My name is Shen McGarvey and I am the middle school dean of students. So what is Back to School Night? Back to School Night is an opportunity for you as parents to get to meet your child's teachers. You'll be learning about curriculum, expectations, you will have the opportunity to ask some questions, and as important as anything else, you will get a chance to put a face or a mask to the name. So tonight's working a little bit different. Obviously, as you can see, we're virtual, but you've already made it to the right Zoom call, so good on you. From here, you're gonna hear a little bit from us, right now, then you're gonna hear from our specialist teachers, our counselors, and then you will hear from your students, head of grade, and then their core subject teachers. You can then stay in this Zoom call if you wanna ask them any specific questions regarding their core subjects, or you can join other Zoom calls to speak to ELL, SEND, PE, Modern Foreign Language, the specialist teachers, Arabic or Islamic, or us if you want to. At the end of the evening, we will be sending out a survey link. And this link is really important. It will give you the opportunity to ask questions that maybe didn't get answered earlier in the evening and the admin team and I are going to be formulating those responses and sending those back out to parents. So please, if you have a lingering question after you talk with the teachers tonight, please make sure to fill that out and we will get back to you as soon as possible. We really hope that you enjoy our virtual back to school night. And if you have any questions, again, we will be available on Zoom. We look forward to working with you throughout the school year. Have a great evening. Good evening parents, my name is Pushpa Tassari and I am the grade 7 counsellor. This is my first year at DAA and I'm very excited to be a part of the DAA family and to be supporting your child throughout this year. Um, I have 15 years of counselling experience and during those 15 years I've worked as a middle school counsellor, uh, as a secondary school counsellor as well as a whole school counsellor at the schools I've worked at. I am from South Africa but most of my educational experience has been in an international setting. I have worked in other areas of the Middle East, as well as in Beijing and in Singapore before joining the DAA family in August of this year. So what exactly is my role here as a counselor? Primarily, I support your child through different um, stages of their development in middle school. So I am a listening ear and someone they can come and chat to if they are having difficulty with friendships, if they are having uh, difficulty with managing their emotions, if they're feeling sad. Um, I also help students who may be struggling with anxiety. Uh, I can help students who may be needing help with managing their time or uh, with study skills. So I'm really just someone who is there to support students in whatever areas of support they require, be that academic or be that they, in terms of their well-being or in terms of any other area of their social or emotional development. Now, my support does not only extend to the students, but it is also available to you as parents. So please do feel free to reach out to me, to contact me if you would like to talk about anything that you are concerned about. Um, and I and can be contacted actually via a phone or via email. So please feel free to connect with me. I look forward to working with you this year in ensuring that your child has a happy and healthy year in grade seven. Thank you. Hi, my name is Melinda Everstein and as Head of Department for Middle School Fine Arts, I'm very proud to introduce you to our amazing creative team. And please note, we are pre-recording this greeting from our homes so we could remove the masks and greet you with a smile. This is my 10th year here at DAA. I'm teaching art and alongside me, also teaching art, is Sean. Hello, I'm Sean Murphy, I'm from New Zealand. Um, I've been in um, the UAE for two years now teaching at um, Gems United School in Sports City. Um, it's great to be welcomed so nicely into the middle school team. I'll be teaching grade six and grade seven art. Hi, I'm Zahid. Uh, I'm the new robotics and innovation activator in middle school and elementary school. 
Um, I've uh, been in Dubai for the last five years and I'm very pleased to be joining the DAA team this year. Um, I'll be teaching grade seven and grade eight robotics and coding classes. Hi, my name is Sarah Hall and I'm the middle school music teacher. I teach grade six, seven and eight music classes originally from Houston, Texas, and this is my fourth year at DAA. Hi, I'm Rain Grant. This is my third year at DAA, my first teaching drama in the middle school. I'll be teaching grades six, seven, and eight. Hi, my name is Victoria Varona. I'm from Bogota, Colombia, and I will be teaching six, seven, and eighth grade design technology. We'll now like to give you the details of our program. My name is Mr. Murphy. I teach grade six art. This is a nine week course, one quarter. This is for the students to have a little bit of an exploration of art and look at design, look at the history of art, the context with which art is developed, to look at the um, links with um, their own creativity and sharing that with the community. We'll be looking at design, we'll be looking at painting, we'll be looking at other fields of art which we can um, manage during this hybrid online and in the physical classroom situation we're in. Um, it's a fun course and there's a lot of controlled creativity at play. Hi, my name's Melinda and I teach Grade 8 Art and alongside with Sean we both teach Grade 7 Art. The Grade 7 and 8 2D art classes are semester-based subjects where students broaden their skills in the areas of drawing, painting, colour theory and design. There's creative problem solving and experimentation that continues over the two years. We also offer full year art courses for those students that don't take a language. These full year courses have students explore a wider range of art forms including printmaking, painting, sculpture, mixed media, and textiles. Welcome to the big show, to the big show, presenting Grade 6 Drama with Miss Grant. Oh, thank you for having me. I have the absolute pleasure of teaching all Grade 6 students this year, as every student will have the chance to explore the basic elements of drama in an introductory course. Students will focus on building ensemble, improvisation and performance skills using collaboration, creativity and trust. I have the absolute pleasure of teaching Grade 7 and 8 drama this year. Students will have the opportunity in semester-based courses to continue exploring the ideas of the basic elements of drama and ensemble. This year, we will focus on building connection and trust in a socially and virtually distanced ensemble through whole class and group activities. Students will undertake units over the two years that study characterization, solo and group performance, playwriting and production. Music in grade six is a quarter year introductory course with an exploration of the basic elements of music. Students will explore a variety of musical activities and projects, such as music composition, world drumming, and the various ways artists communicate through music. Through these activities, students will continue their learning from elementary music, such as music reading skills, music appreciation, song preparation, and performance. Music class for grades 7 and 8 will focus on a variety of musical skills. Students will learn to expand upon basic music theory and music reading skills while applying this knowledge to different mediums. Students will engage in group activities such as hand drumming and different instrumental combinations depending on the interests and abilities of the students. In addition, students will spend the semester learning how to play a musical instrument, either at the beginner, intermediate, or advanced level. In grade six design technology, students will be exploring graphic design tools, coding, and 3D printing. This course is designed for them to go through a little bit of a taster of everything that they can do in design and incorporates a little bit of what they will be doing in seventh grade if they choose coding and robotics. 
In grade 7 design technology, students will be learning about graphic design, 3D printing, and biomimicry. Grade 8 students will be exploring brand and packaging design as well as graphic design. They will be becoming experts in the use of design elements and principles. Hi, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Mr. Razak and this is a brief introduction to coding and robotics. In grade 6, students will not be taking part in this elective, however they will be having an opportunity to take part in coding and robotics as a taster, um, so they hopefully have an opportunity to demonstrate their coding skills and experience some robotics during the taster day. Uh, this year in grade 7 we'll be looking at developing uh, robots from a project-based project learning perspective Students will have an opportunity to design and create a robot that can solve a real-world problem. They'll understand the theory behind robots, the benefits of robots to society, some of the functions and features they have, and experience different types of robotic kits. In Grade 8, students will also have an opportunity to build a project um, through robotics. They will experience LEGO EV3, uh, SAM Labs and Sphere Robots, as well as other robotics that we have in school. They will also have an opportunity to try different types of coding languages and experience text-based languages such as Python. If you have any more questions, please feel free to get in touch via email. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Back to School Night. We are the Modern Foreign Languages Department in the Middle School. And tonight we're going to talk to you a little bit about ourselves and our program. Uh, my name is Felipe Sanchez. I am one of the Spanish teachers and I teach grade 6 grade 7 and grade 8. Now I introduce to you Miss Tania Budatia. Bonjour! I am Tania Budakia. I teach grade 6, 7 and 8 French and I'm going to talk to you about our 6th grade program. All of your students will be starting this quarter in either Fr French or Spanish and then in about 10 weeks from now or 9 weeks we will be swapping and those who are in Spanish will go to French so that they get a taste of each language before they select which language they're going to study in semester two. And now, my colleague, Ms. Valerani. Hola, I am Ms. Cecilia Valerani. I teach Spanish in grades six, seven, and eight. And as Ms. Budakian told before, after you chose in grade six, the second semester, the language, you will continue studying this language on grade seven, so we will have a lot of fun, and we are looking forward to see you again on grade seven. Adios! Bonjour, salut, hola! Je suis Monsieur Gavin, I'm Mr. Kelly, and I am also teaching six, seven, eight. Now, by eighth grade, you are learning your tenses, you are deepening your knowledge of the platforms, and you are getting ready for high school. It's going to be a great year ahead. Hello, c'est à fond les ballons. Salut! Welcome to the Middle School Modern Foreign Languages Department. The students are encouraged to develop the communication skills necessary for further language learning and for the study, work, and leisure in a range of authentic contexts and for a variety of audiences and purposes. Grade 6 Exploratory is an exploratory language course for all the students in the grade. The duration of this course is one semester, which is in turn divided into quarters. In each quarter, students will have an opportunity to explore the French and Spanish languages. In the second semester, students will choose one of the two languages to study in further depth. Language 7 is an elective course that builds on prior learning. Some of the learning in this course includes using the present tense, talking about home, expressing opinions and preferences, talking about clothing, accessories and fashions, and much more. Language, language 8 is a elective course in which students gain communication knowledge and understanding of events in the present, past and future tenses, making use of regular and irregular verbs. This knowledge will be obtained after two years of study in the language and the middle school level and will be followed by a smooth transition into the high school modern foreign languages program. And that is all from the modern foreign languages department. Thank you very much for watching. And remember that today at the end of the sessions, 
there will be a Zoom link for the, our department to answer your questions related to the language program. Have a great evening. Thank you. Gracias. Merci. Adios. Hi, I'm Jill Clegg. I'm head of the middle school PE. I teach grades 6, 7, and 8. I'm in my eighth year teaching at DAA. I'd like to introduce the rest of my team. Hi, my name is Faye Robertson. I am from Scotland and I have been at DAA for four years now. I'm going to be teaching 6, 7 and 8 PE this year. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Matt Stevens. Um, I am moving into my fourth year he here at DAA and I will be teaching grade 8 and grade 6. Hi, my name is Mr. Calagera and I will be teaching grade 6, 7 and 8 and this is my third year in DAA. Hi, I'm Scott McDougall. I'm not going to wave. This is my fifth year at DA. I am teaching grades six and seven. This year, you're gonna to have to bear with us. We'll be teaching PE a little differently than we have in the past. We'll be adhering to the guidelines set by KHDA with social distancing, um, modifying our games, our activities to keep all our students safe and keep them active. The units we are hoping to cover this year are target games, invasion games, striking and fielding games, net games, what? swimming, and health. Hello and rahmatullah. Welcome to the Arabic language in the Middle School. Welcome to the Middle School Arabic Department. Our Arabic team is Mr. Kata, our instructional coach. Mr. Hassan, the head of Arabic department in middle school, Ms. Hilal, Ms. Nabil, Mr. Karazi, Mr. Mohsen, and Mr. Mbabi. In Arabic department, we focus on four skills, which are listening, reading, speaking, and writing. In Arabic, we have two courses, Arabic native and Arabic non-native. Arabic Native, this course is designed for Native students and it's advanced Arabic course that follow the KHDA standards. Students learn at this course how to summarize Arabic novels, analyze stories, write figurative essays, Arabic poetry, and debate about important events. In non-Arabic, uh, non-Native Arabic, we have three levels. Level 1, Introduction. Level 2, Intermediate and level three advanced. This course is, or these levels are offered to the all grades six, seven, and eight. But as for level three is the curriculum is different in between each grade. The, some of the thematics unit that we offer to the students for native, raised by our morals, school life, the journey of knowledge, the gift of mercy in my country. As for non-native, daily routine, family, food, traveling, jobs, technology, and etc. Assessment policy. Of course, we follow the school standard-based grading policy, and we grade the students from one to four, and it follows the uh, four skills, writing, reading, speaking, and listening. Class expectations, we are expecting the students to come to class ready to learn and submit their work on time on Phoenix and follow the class rules. If you have any inquiry or questions, you can always contact the Arabic teachers at any time. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to our Islamic education class. Our class aims at providing students with comprehensive knowledge in Islamic education fields enabling them to develop their learning abilities using research and different resources. I would like to introduce our middle school Islamic education team. Ms. Nermin Khalil, the middle school head of Islamic department, teaches grade 6, 7, and 8 for native and non-native classes. Ms. Ghada Hadi, Islamic non-native teacher for grade 6, 7, and 8. And Ms. Um Kulthum teaches grade 7 and 8 native Islamic. We are looking forward to a motivating learning experience with our students this year, insha'Allah. 
In Islamic education, we have two different Islamic classes. Native Islamic is for students who registered in the school under a Muslim and Arab nationality, while non-native Islamic is for students who are now learning Arabic as an additional language. Both Islamic programs, native and non-native, are important parts of our overall educational program at DAA. In Islamic education class, we will be learning and implementing knowledge of the fundamentals of different Islamic fields as required by the KHDA. The Islamic fields are beliefs, divine revelation, which is the Holy Quran and Al-Hadith al-Sharif, Sira and personalities, which is about the biography of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the Prophet's stories, peace be upon them. Then practices in Islam, Islamic values, identity, and current issues. Students will be assessed as per the following power standards. Knowledge and memorization, recitation, understanding, application, and connection to real life. Here you can find the required supplies and links for some Quran resources. We look forward to working together to make this the best school year, inshallah. Thank you for watching. Ma'assalama.